using the diamond prep bit and you guys have seen me prep a billion times so I'm just adding a nice layer of prep to dehydrate and balance out the pH of the nail and then we're going to do one little coat of primer I'm liking the peanut Oh, thank you. I shot big shout out to um, Lucy Frank from Enoch Couture Canada, who when she came to visit on Thanksgiving, she was the one that told me about it. She was like, I was at the airport and I saw that the Peanuts did a collab with Lacoste. And she was like, it's really expensive. And then I got an email from Lacoste that it was on sale for Black Friday. So I hit up that sale. You guys should see me. You guys should have seen me on Sunday at Walmart for the um, Christmas clearance. Ooh, I, went, I get down. I get serious on a good clearance. Was there a lot of stuff? Um, yes and no. There's a lot of crap. Right. I've heard there's like a lot of... Good things? But they still have like some ornaments left. I got some mm -hmm. Christmas paper plates because I started buying more paper plates so that way my mom doesn't have to wash dishes all the time. Uh -huh. So I got Christmas paper plates and I also got um, like some Christmas like uh, dish rags. Oh. Mm -hmm, I got those, sorry. And then I got these like ornament scented sticks oh. because I like bathrooms to smell really nice. Yeah. So the pine one is going to make the bathroom smell like pine salt. So I put those in the bathroom. And then they had the big old bins to like uh, put stuff in. Those were really cheap too. So we're going to use DIY gel in clear, but I'm going to take out my, my Costco size fantasy pink out of the um, tube key, the rolling tube key. Okay. Because I'm going to use up this small one, so I'll show you guys how to load it. Whoops. And then hold it right there in the middle, and then you're going to roll so that way we get every single drop out. Where is my flash around? At Walmart? Well, no, there really isn't anything, but you can, you know, if you're like me and you go looking, you'll find at least, you know, a few things. You gotta dig. You really do. Like, the dish rags I found in, like, one of the carts, like a shopping trolley, mm -hmm. that was in the gardening section that was Christmas stuff. Oh. So I had to look for it. Sometimes you gotta get uh, dirty. Like dumpster diving. I've always heard that you can find so many interesting things, but I don't know how I would feel about going into a dumpster. And I don't know if it's legal or not, too. But I know some people, like I remember this one lady I knew, she decorated her whole house with stuff from the dumpsters. She, but sometimes they write damage on it, and she would say, it's Dimash, the Dimash collection. <laughs> And then in Chinese feng shui, if you use something that's broken, it's bad luck because it's what was it's already broken, so like oh. it already has bad energy with it. So I'm not I personally don't like anything that's broken or used for that same reason. But I know there's lots of people that love thrift right. shopping or going to like um, garage sales and things like that. So it's each their own. But I have my crazy feng shui ideas. And I know in Japan they they fix broken like. Uh, flower vases and pottery with like this gold I'm not sure what oh, it is right. mm -hmm. yeah. and that's considered like an art form too but it's broken <laughs> I see one coming it's illegal it is Legal, illegal as it's theft of products. But people do it so much, businesses have restored to locking their trash cans about dumpster diving. Yeah, because they've seen videos of people going to like Sephora and doing dumpster diving at Sephora. I'm like, wow. That is some serious dumpster diving. See, every single drop. And especially, for example, Sherry, her nail beds are not even, so I want to apply enough DIY gel to make sure that I fill in those gaps. But I don't want to overflow it, so you have to kind of eyeball it. Really? Let me open up this one then. No worries. Um, oh, for the Walmart.
Nikki. I used to think that the biggest Walmart in the world was in Texas, but Texas is now the state with the most Walmarts. The biggest Walmart is in upstate New York. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But the highest grossing Walmart, or one of the highest grossing Walmarts, is the one on Valencia. Here in Tucson. Really? That Walmart makes a million dollars a day. That Walmart is, she's no joke. She's, that's a very serious Walmart. Uh-huh, and they find all kinds of stuff. Sephora too, like makeup and perfume, but some of it's um, expired. I see videos of people dumpster driving at grocery stores. My mom's dad, who was a biologist, said that when bread starts turning green, all it is is penicillin. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Moldy bread. He's like, oh, that's just penicillin. So much better. Did you guys get any cool presents for Christmas too? Let me know in the comments below. I really didn't get any cool presents for Christmas. Even the present that Gucci sent me this year was, I was like, they're like, did you like it? And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure somebody will like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really ugly scarf, and I was like, no wonder they're giving them away. No way. Yeah, they gave me a scarf. And I was like, last year they gave me this big old box with like uh, all kinds of food from Italy. And this year they get me a scarf. A scarf. Can you believe that? Man, I sound like such a curry right now. A scarf. How dare they send me a scarf? But it was ugly. What am I supposed to do with a scarf? I live in Arizona. I want to know what the DIY gel is. Uh, no, all of our products, all the whole one, two, three, go line is a uh, soak off. Go ahead and bake that, my dear. <laughs> Favorite present was an amusement park from email. Oh, that's a fun present, see? <laughs> that's fun. But a scarf, what am I supposed to do with a scarf? Right? <gasps> oh, almost fell over my chair. <laughs> It's the spirit of the scarf that's out for vengeance. <laughs> the scarf is out to get me. Yeah. The Gucci scarf that I'm probably never gonna wear. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to wear it like George Hamilton, like a ascot, or is that what they're called? Like when you wear like a button, uh, oh, like a yeah. button up to like halfway, and then the big old scarf right, right there. I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I want to look like. Oh my gosh, be careful, Max. I know. Oh, Barbara Mosley did give me some of her famous peanut brittle, and that was really good. I love me some Barbara Brown peanut brittle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, too, we're going to do a giveaway if we reach 100. So let's make sure the sides are nice and straight. Yes, that's what happened. The spirit of the Gucci came to take vengeance. Thank you! You're so cute. Sassy designed them. <laughs> and you guys can see that the filing is very, very minimal with the 123Go system. I've seen some people try to take like a 100 grit file, so I'm like, no, why? All you have to do is very gently refine the shape. You don't have to like completely refile the nail. 
A 150, 180 is all you need. This one is, what is this? 180. The nail is perfect, literally, out of the bag. So now we're gonna take the first bit. Oh no, power top, power top, power top, sorry. And we're gonna blend the cuticle. Well, you guys, we're more than halfway there for the giveaway, too. Whoops. Thank you! That's so kind! I appreciate it! So right now we're just blending it in very very gently to make it look just like a sculpted phalange. Somebody messaged or like they left a comment like I want to see you sculpt nails like I want to see you use acrylic I'm like why? That's so... So antiquated. And I mean, I have over 10,000 videos, so I'm pretty sure there's one of me sculpting. This is so much faster and easier. And I'm telling you, the nail lasts real. just as long. And I, it just feels better. Like, say, when you hit them or bump them, they don't hurt, they don't lift. We were talking about on Instagram is that, you know, some people say, oh, you know, I charge $200, but. It takes me four hours to do a full set. I'm like, you're not making any money. Why would you spend so much time doing one full set when, I'm sorry, when you can do pretty much the exact same, get the exact same result in half the time with the one, two, three, go system. Right now I'm just taking the diamond many bits to blend in a little bit more. Thank you. Only the best. And it's made in America. Correct. I would never use anything else because at enobitware.com we only use the best. We only use my own. That's why I decided to become a manufacturer. It boggles my mind how some people that have been doing nails for like three, three months are selling nail products online. Or people that aren't even... Nail technicians sell nail products on like, you know, struggle is real, but geez, how can you be selling nail products if you don't even know what nail products are made out of or how they're manufactured if you don't know what you're selling? That's dangerous. And now we're just going to find one more time. I don't look at other brands or what they're doing or anything like that, so I can't answer that question because I'm not, you know, snooping around to see what other products are or, or what other companies are selling and things like that. So that's up to your discretion. <laughs> but what other people are doing, I stay in my lane, and my lane's pretty busy. That's the Santa Fe, New Mexico. So now we're going to take our purple smoothie buffer. 
and we're gonna remove the entire shine off the nail so that way our gel will stick beautifully. All of them growing they beautiful. Do you guys have any plans for New Year's? Let me know in the comments below what you guys are gonna do for New Year's. Is anybody gonna go to Times Square and watch the ball drop? No, it's too cold. And I heard there's so many people. You can't even enjoy it. You can't even move around or go to the bathroom because it's just so many people. Literally a sea of people. And then what if you get hungry? Oh yeah, that's, that's one of those situations. I'm not a big crowd person either. And then they're like, oh, you get to see the celebrities. Not really. They need some good binoculars. Because they're up high. A lot of those you see On TV. You can't see everything so close. Better shots. Now we're going to remove the dust. And then we're going to go in with the world famous trusty AP number E. The most popular new gel here in India. up days I have like the launch of a new video game or there's this store like that sells everything like at used Amazon or like an Amazon outlet I think it was in Riley, Riley, Riley North Carolina I saw a video about it and people line up like a day ahead to make sure that they're the first ones in there to buy the stuff that, that was returned from Amazon talk about treasure hunting that color you guys, isn't it? Perfection. She's on it. Three. I think. Yes, the most popular one. I try. I have been doing it for like 20 some years now, so you would hope so. Sherry, do you like Dolly Parton? 
Um, have you ever seen her movies? Um, oh my gosh. I other than 9 to 5? No, but that other one, um, mm -hmm. with St Sylvester Stallone. Do you remember that one? She did a movie with Sylvester Stallone? Mm -hmm. Really? What was the name of it? It was like, um, I think she was a singer somewhere like in I saw a movie that she did for Christmas called Unlike the Angel. Oh, she does some Hallmark movies. Yeah, it, was kind of, it seemed like a Hallmark kind of movie. Oh, it was Rhinestone. Yes, it was. That's the name of the movie? The name of the movie. Rhinestone. Rhinestone? Is it funny? It is. It's good. It's yeah. moments. Uh -huh. This little whorehouse in Texas I couldn't get into. Is it? It's a musical. I didn't know that. The best little whorehouse in Texas with Burt Reynolds, I think. I remember like the name and Burt Reynolds being in it, but the theme. Like, it's a know. musical, so I was like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Do you know she's all tatted out too? Like she has sleeves. Oh, that's yeah. That's why she always has like sleeves on, because she's all tatted out. What a punk home. Right. Dolly Parton. Because if you look, that's what she, yeah, she wears. Sleeves. All the time. She says her tattoos are for her, so that's why she, nobody sees them. Her and her husband, I think, have like an open relationship. That sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Like he can sleep with other women and she is okay with it. I wonder if she sleeps with other men. Well, they always said that her and um, Kenny Rogers were an item. Because of all the songs they did together, but I don't think so. Kenny Rogers likes girls that are much younger than him. Is he still alive? Kenny Rogers. Let us know if Kenny Rogers is still alive, you guys, because that is a million dollar question. Um, they have a question, quick question. What is the best drill bit to clean up the area on the one, two, three? Um, we have so many, it's hard for me to say one is better than the other because each drill bit has its own purpose. So it's best for you to try and see what's going to work best for you, but we have many, many drill bits. We have like the verse bit, we have the pink diamond cuticle bit, which is one of our original drill bits. We have the power top bit, so I'm pretty sure there's something there that's going to um, accommodate what you're looking for. Like Elvis. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. <laughs> never come to money That's right. That's the song I like. You gotta know when to fold them, know when to hold them. He died last year? And I think he had a, like one like power ballad song, it was like the love. Love lift us up where we belong, right, yeah. baby. And he had like kids that were like under ten, I think, like with one of his newer wives. That's from his uh, movie. Oh, so you did like a remake of it? I think so. But I remember the song he did with Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream. <laughs> I remember that one. And then... Everybody's he... rumor. What's that? Oh, that's the start of the rumors, the song. Yeah. <laughs> And then they had another song called, uh, I think, Real Love, or We Got Real Love, Not Infatuation. These are the flash stickers that are on the website, and we added a new one today. It's 407, because Sherry wanted something very, very blingy today, she said. She said, I want to be seen from outer space.
This one is the 407, the new one, the glitter grip. Sit, like, um, pinpoint where you want it. Uh -huh. Yeah, King Brothers did do a little called six pack. No, what's that? It was the wrist covering. Really? Was it like... Six pack was the kid. Six of them? Yeah. No, that movie doesn't sound familiar. That's what Kenny Rogers was? The oh, the kids! It was, they were all his kids? Oh. Wow, Kenny Rogers did a lot of movies, huh? Was he that good of an actor? I don't remember him being that good of an actor. Really, really bad facelift. Like I know facelifts and his was he looked like a different ethnicity when he was done. And I'll leave it at that. Because he wasn't a bad looking man, but when you know that facelift made him look very, very different. And he has so much money you think he would go to like a really like kick butt doctor. And Dolly Parton, like, I think her movies are cute, too. But, like, she also, like, I mean, she's not Meryl Streep or anything like that, so. Right. I remember, um, watching one of the movies, and it was, like, it was expensive to look cheap. Oh, yeah. That was her favorite, <laughs> her famous thing. Yeah. And I don't think she's that exaggerated, but probably for back then. Right. Especially, yeah. Because she's always like Always. She said her inspiration was the town prostitute. And she grew up like dirt poor. Like I heard that when she was born her family paid the doctor in corn milk. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I remember her being And they say in real life she's really nice. A very just nice and you know down to earth country girl. try to get her caught up like in politics and she's like she won't answer and she also has a lot of just you know just old school common sense mm -hmm. yeah we need to go to Nashville Dollywood she has her own theme park that's how much money oh, she has right. she does she pretty much owns half of Tennessee. I had gone once because there's a Gatlinburg Nail Show. Big shout out to um, everybody that goes to that show. We did it once and uh, we went to one of her shows. And she's everywhere. Like there's pictures of her everywhere. And she's very involved in everything in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So remember you guys, stickers always look best under two coats of gel top coat. So the first one is usually thinner and we're just gonna go in with a nice thin coat of shiny okay let's go ahead and bake that 30 seconds I'm gonna put these away mm -hmm. wait till you see them with the flash
Really? Oh, well, I know. I don't, I don't think I really want to see her in concert because I don't know enough of her songs. Yeah. For like a whole concert? Mm. If it was free, maybe. I like a couple of her songs, like when she's singing, like Loretta Lynn and Tammy Wynette. Like the old. Like but the, not like herself. The big hair country music. You like Loretta Lynn and Tammy Wynette and. Really? Uh, what is it, the Pill, you know that song? Was it Loretta Lynn? Got oh, some, yes, yes, yes. I got a few missed thrills now that I got the pill. <laughs> and they used to have big hair. Pull the ribbon from my hair. Shake it loose. So now we're going to go in with Diamond Gel. God, what was the show that was on TV about country music? Honky, to Honky Tonk or... What was it? Hee Haw! Hee Haw! <laughs> hee -haw. Did your dad used to uh, watch Hee Haw? Yeah. Old school country like No, we're older. Yeah. And Glenn Campbell, isn't he a country singer? Galveston, oh Galveston. Who sings the song, Let's Go to Lukenbach, Texas? Yes! Those are some old school jams. That's the country. That's, that's real that's country right, music. Right, right. Because the country now is more like... Almost borderline top 40. Yeah. Like I think... George Strait. Like Alan Jackson. Old school. George Strait is really famous. Like he's one of the top, like one of the richest men in the world. I didn't know that he... His concerts are really expensive, and I was like, I've never heard of this person before. Really? Isn't he the guy that sings All My Exes Live in Texas? He even sings Really? George Strait? Really? Is it pretty good? The Center for Nondis went peace out finally. Everybody was so sad when I was like, dude was like 90 years old or. Yeah. It would be nice if everybody lasts forever, but... In fact, um, George Strait posted something about like, he was one of his idols. Really? And Vicente Fernandez is another one that, you know, he did everything. Yeah. He was a singer, actor, not a very good at one, but he made movies. They have Vicente Fernandez movies on there? Um, no, but I rewatched Los Tigres del Norte. Tigers of the North. That they had. Um, a Netflix show? No, but their hero was um, one of their idols was Johnny Cash. Oh, really? And in fact, the Fosse Cousin, mm -hmm. that song he sings, they have it in Spanish. They sing a Spanish version of it. Really? Music genres too. But the center for, uh, Tigers of the North have been around forever too. Oh, yeah. And they're still around with their super shiny black hair. Yeah. Looks like they got shoe polish on it. Shine, oh yeah. Man, you can't be a northern Mexican singer unless you got a friend's jacket covered in sequins. And pointy boots. Like do you remember quebradita, Quebraditas uh -huh. when they were popular? Bustiers covered in rhinestones. Like Selena, I was talking about the other day that Selena, um, she hated the music she sang too. She understand, speak Spanish. But her dad made her sing in Spanish and she hated that kind of music. She wanted to sing like um, Paula Abdul and Janet Jackson and Madonna. That's the singers that she liked. Oops. Music like that when she passed away. She got killed. Can't go wrong with the blink. Actually, this one's the wrong color. This one's the crystal white opal. And because we're doing silver today, we gotta make sure everything is consistent.
summons. Oh yeah, who doesn't? I like that kind of music. I love disco music. I grew up with a lot of that. Donna Summer, uh, Patti LaBelle, um, Diana Ross. Speaking of the devil. Oh, Selena. Mm -hmm. I thought the door. Oh. <laughs> I was like... What a genre of music, though. What a uh, time in history. Go into the discotheque. I didn't play it, the thing played it by itself, the mix. How can I change the mix when my hands are over here? That would be an awesome wedding set of A very spinny wedding. Did you have a good wedding shirt? Really? You went all out? Oh my gosh, you had one of those weddings. Like, a small, oops, small fortune. Well, I heard weddings are so expensive. They are. Mine was never that. Did you have it on the ranch? No. No? What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so, yes. And the Stardust, remember people would always have parties at the Stardust too? Quinceañera yeah. and the TCC, that's if you want to show off. Just the wedding dress alone is a few grand probably. Oh wow, that's really good. Cool. This was back in the Go ahead and put that in my dear. That was a wedding dress in a bag. That's really good though. To clean your wedding dress? Yeah. You're like, yeah. it's not even worth how much I paid. Exactly. That's crazy. Oh my God. So you're gonna be a senior in, it, uh, in September of this, uh, 2022? Wow, a high school senior. I can't wait to see that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Time really does fly, doesn't it? So now I'm going to take a 240 grit file and just touch up the sides to make sure they're nice and straight. Ugh, I know. That's one of the reasons I'm going to go to Phoenix because we don't want to get my dad out in the rainy weather. I hate when it rains. I hate when it's rainy. I hate when it's um, sunny. Just give me gloomy Seattle weather all year round. Yes, of course. Let's pray that I make it. And now they're charging people to go and ride that Disney event. Yeah? yeah, you have to pay if you the fast passes. If you want a fast pass, you gotta have to pay for it now. How's your dad doing? My dad, he's okay. He's doing okay. He yesterday he had an episode. He woke up in the middle of the night and he got in the car and was just there for I don't know, a few hours, we were like, it was also in the middle of the night too, he just got up and went in the car. Luckily he didn't take off or anything like that, but I guess he wanted to go for a ride. Bye Mr. Office, you leaving already? Bye sweetie. You're gonna be on time tomorrow? That's what he always says. And then he's like, oh, it's too cloudy, can't go to work today.
genie now. That's right. Look, Shay already knows the answer. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay to go on if you don't want to wait. And I hate waiting. Oh, it's the worst. And they're like, what did you do on your Disneyland vacation? Wait in line. <laughs> oh, Disneyland in Japan is like that too. Is yeah. The, what, the time I went, I think that's why I didn't enjoy it. Because I had to wait so much. He loves closing the door, my dad. You get home and he like, I'm like, dude, this is not Fort Knox. You don't have to put so many, you know, three or four locks on the door. But he's that's his, his ideas. Yeah. Her dad was a wonder. Really? Well, being locked at home all day with my mom, I don't know. Easy. Sometimes eight. wet wipes. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. And his, the, the, his speech, but at least he's moving around and, you know, at least he, he opened the car door and did stuff too. But it is scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't turned into an ice cube because it was so cold yesterday. Beautiful. Look at that here. So, did we reach 100 views? We didn't? Oh. Maybe next time then. Look how cool they look. Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's quick little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this design. It came out beautiful. And I want to wish you guys and Miss Sherry a happy new year. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I will see you tomorrow in the next flight video. Hopefully, knock on wood, we have a giveaway tomorrow if we reach 100. So stay tuned, you guys. Bye.